we have something from far, far away. Yes, very far which away. Which I believe you don't have an accent for. So there will be nobody offended, probably, from this. I say probably because we uh, probably uh, Unless we go away. into the whole Waikiki <laughs> Wabbit thing. But, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't make it. Talk to uh, Charles Schultz or whoever wrote that. Uh, Charles Schultz? Not Charles That's Schultz. That's the Peanuts no, guy. No, no, I'm sorry. What's his name? What was uh, the guy's name? Fritz Freeling? Fritz Freeling. And there was another guy, too. Fritz Freeling. Freeling. Chuck Jones. Chuck Jones. Chuck Jones. Fritz Sorry. Freeling. Okay, and Chuck Jones. the illustrious Mel Blanc. Wow, of course. All the voices. Anywho. Yeah, so we're going to Fiji. We're, we're going, going to, to the South Pacific. We're in the, we're in the big boats. We're going Polynesian. We are. Yes. This is from Holmes Key Fiji Run. Single origin edition. It's a blend of lightly aged molasses-based pot and column still rum from the South Pacific distilleries in Lautoka, Fiji. And I'm hoping I said Lautoka correctly. Ah. And Fiji for that one. Holmes Key founder Eric K, in collaboration with the hosts of the Rumcast Pod, chose this flavorful, unadulterated blend to introduce to U.S. spirit lovers in a 2,260 bottle limited edition. Hmm. Spotlights the amazing diversity of rum flavors in thoughtfully selected rum blends. Single origin blends offer trust sourcing and distinctive taste, bottled at a higher proof to stand up to cocktails or for sipping. Hmm. A blend of pot and column distillates creates the unique flavors of the selection. No sugar, no color, and no other flavors are added in the making of this rum. You know who would be happy by this? Our boy Mitch. Our boy Mitch. He, he, uh, he would be he, very proud. He, he poopahs people who fool with the rum. I know. He's like, just be honest, man. Full disclosure. Go ahead. It's uh, recommended that you enjoy this neat on the rocks or in your favorite cocktail. So pretty much however, any way you could possibly drink it. Uh, I think the moral of the story is buy it and drink it enjoy. however you like. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Mm -hmm. It comes in a 750 bottle. It's at 46% ABV, 92 proof. And if you bought a case, you get six bottles in a case. Huh. Just in case you wanted to order cases. Okay. Any Anything uh, on MSRP on these things? There's no MSRP. No. Okay. All right. No, no, no. All right. Let's give it a try. And it's a, I mean, you, you couldn't call this a light rum. You couldn't call it a golden rum. You just, you know. Let's just call it rum. We'll oh, that was nice. It. That was nice. I finally moved my meat hooks oh. to the bottom of the glass. Oh, smell that. That is a lot of sugar. Dude, that's got some stuff going on. Now, we had had. By the way, they're bringing the noise and the, and the funk. The funk. Oh. We, we had had an a, uh, uh, Asia Pacific rum. Right, right. That, right. that was uh, rum, and, is rum and cane? Indonesia and Fiji. Right. So this is just Fiji. So I wonder if this will taste similar to that or a little different. I'm getting a little smoke. There's like a little bit of funk. Like a vegetal note, whatever that will be. I'm getting like a grassy, like a, well, yeah. like a rindy kind I of like a, a pulpy kind of note to it. This ain't your daddy's light rum or whatever you want to call it. And it's and got like a, it's almost got like a Chardonnay look to it. It looks and, like a whiskey. And and you throw out a lot of times when we do rum that you get uh, like bananas. bananas. And I'm not I'm really getting bananas getting on that. this one. No, uh, I'm getting maybe a little bit of pineapple, maybe, but that might be more of a stretch. And this is molasses based instead of uh, sugar cane, which is what we get a lot of rum with. So this well, is, isn't molasses a sugar cane byproduct? I think it's just different the way they put it together. I yeah, but I mean, get, ultimately, can, all comes from yeah, sugar cane, right? It all comes from the way you process the right. sugar. So. Because like you can do like the rum agricole, yeah. which is like just basically pressed sugar. Yeah, pressed sugar cane. You get sugar cane juice. Yes, the sugar cane squeezins. Yes, fresh squeezed sugar cane. I, I can't like pick this apart. I can't even tell what it smells like. It just smells really good. It almost has like like if you took some whiskey and you put it in a, like a rum cask, you know, that's, on the nose. That's nice. So here's the tasting note. What we're supposed to oh, get. Oh wait, 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 wait! Don't do that yet. No, oh. the nose. I'm just reading the nose part. Tell you what we were supposed to mm. get. Grass, citrus, and pepper. Hmm. And I think you got the grass and the citrus. Yeah, you very the vegetable. vegetables. Yeah. The uh, the the taste is it's hot. Oh, it's nice because it's forty six percent. It's got some. Light. But it's but it's not like an oppressive heat. No, 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 no. It's 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 good. It's about where it should be. A little mm. peppery. Mm hmm. It's got a little, a little, little, you know, heat. It actually gets hot on the back end. A little, yeah, a little, the finish is hot. A good bit of vanilla. Yeah. I think. But, and uh, it's not too sticky. It's not like no, syrupy. Not which some rums are a little too syrupy. Mm -hmm. It's no, just a, a nice really blend nice. Of, uh, of, of vanilla and, uh, and maybe a little bit of uh, caramel, a little bit of uh, toffee, a little, mm. for me, a little bit of that. That's really nice. I like that. That's a sip. It's good. Yeah. That's a nice sipper. And what's great about this 
I assume they did nothing with coloring or anything like that. No, no, they didn't. They, 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 no right. sugar, no color, does no it, other flavors. Does it say how long it's aged? It's what it I is. I think you read it, but I'm... You know. It does not say how long. It just says that it's aged. Hmm. I assume it comes up to still clear. They throw it in a barrel for a little Put while. Put barrels to go Does it say what kind of barrel water. they use? Right? They don't say barrels, nothing. nothing. Nope. Interesting. Shh. Secrets. 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 So, so these guys are like that rum and cane that we use, and they're, in, I guess they're like blenders. This is not coming from the distillery. I mean, it comes from a distillery, but this is not with the distillery. This is something else. This is Holmes K. Fiji Rum, single origin edition, okay. from the South Pacific distilleries in Lontaka, Fiji. Okay. But it doesn't say that they own right. the distillery right, or right, they're right, right, right. bottling for the distillery. So do you think they it's went... probably going from the same broker that's in right. Amsterdam. That EA share. EA share, yeah. Right. Probably, probably the same, same guy. Because I, I believe they're the clearinghouse for all rum. It just well, makes and, it easier that way. And what's interesting, though, is when I think of rum, I really just, I'm exclusively thinking of, like, the Caribbean mm-hmm. and Central America and all that. I don't really think of South Pacific as a place to get rum. Yeah. So, which, which goes to show how much I know about anything. At least rum. It's just, that's just solid. And the, the finish is really nice. It's really mm-hmm. a nice sipper. Because it has that peppery, long finish. Mm-hmm. Again, without being oppressively hot. Yeah. Now, remember on the pod that when we had... Um, Don and Mitch on mm-hmm. from Elixir, and they were talking about stars and like distilleries. And they were matching them up, yep. you know. And yep. Idris Elba, always yep. Idris Elba. If I was to compare this like a whiskey distillery, it almost has like a like a Kalula type quality to it. Okay, I you can see that. I can see that. Like it's not overly anything. It's just like you know, it's good, solid, right? You know, right? No, that's nice. I like that. I mean, again, I, I mean, we're drinking a lot more rum these days, and I. I'd give it a solid, like, A-. I, I don't think, I think this it's is like an 89, 90. 90. This is no, 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 no. This might be Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig? It might be Daniel Craig. You know, like, when he goes, like, does that little gambling bit. Remember in the, yep. what was the which one was yep. that? Was it the... Uh, Casino Royale? Which is, the, no, which is the one where he disappears for a while, where they thought he was dead. Was that Skyfall? Yeah, it be Skyfall. And he was, like, going on a bender in the South Pacific? I'm thinking it's, like, Skyfall. He's at the casino. You like to go on a bender? No, but he might. No, I'd like to go on a bender. <laughs> Would you <laughs> disappear for a few months? No one, no uh, one really mind. We've gone. We've gone around <laughs> the bend. Okay. We've gone around. The, but I like this. I would go. I would go eighty nine ninety. Yeah, I yeah. Again, we. I, I don't have as much room experience. Well, neither do I. But going through and, and talking with Don Davies and Mitch right, and, right, right. And, and hearing from the masters what they look for with rum and how rum is kind of processed. Um, this is really well crafted. It's like really this. well done. This is nice. It's really well done. This is nice. And, and for the 46%, you know, they, they mentioned that they, they have it there. We've had some experience with overproof rums. Mm-hmm. This doesn't taste overproof. No, no, no. It this tastes is like easy. it's about the right proof, but it's not coming in at 40% like no. a lot of rum. It's coming in at 46 which is nice. Yeah, no, this is good. It's, I would say it's it's on, it's on par with that Detroit rum we tried, that, yeah. the Detroit distillers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their summer yeah, rum. Summer rum, yeah. Because it was like along that similar yeah. kind of way about it. You know what I mean? Like easy drinking, yeah. but it could be really mixable as well. Yeah, and it, it's not... You know, like some of the rums that you like with all the agricole, where they have yeah. like rubber boots in the bottom of the barrel, or whatever they're doing there, where it's it's brought the noise. No, and the it, funk it's and the literally funk and the funk. it's literally where the bodies are. Buried. Yeah, it very, in, well, in, it very in, well could be. Yeah, it's, it's in the dunder pit. It's a distillery slash you know crematorium, uh-huh. whatever they've done there. But it, um, if you want a rum that's fairly approachable, uh-huh. that is versatile and could be in a cocktail. Yeah. Or as a sipper, I, I think this is a good solid rum here. I like this it. Is, it's nice. It's really I like nice. it a lot. So, well done. Anywho, uh, I believe this was from, uh, sent to us from Handcrafted PR. And so we should thank them. Yes, we should. So thank you to Anna of Handcrafted PR. And this is really, really yummy. And, and the uh, fine folks at home's Key Fiji Room. Yeah. They did a great By job. By the way, Anna of Handcrafted, same folks that hooked us up with Yubiga. There you go. So they're getting some quality I, products I, I, and some I, quality clients. All around the world, yeah. Yeah, so it's good. Sir. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. Let's go to Fiji.